What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are talking about our most carried in the month of June. So first things first, like, subscribe, ding the bell, comment down below. And thanks for watching. Yes. <clears throat> so most carried. Oh, we're not that far off. We're not that far off. So um, I guess I'll start us yeah, off. Yeah, do it. I'm going to start off with slip joint. Yep. Most carried. Um, <clears throat> I think I know which one you're pulling to. Oh man. And it's a, it's it's a hot night. So Josh and I, we don't always get to go. I don't always get to, but we tr we work to go shopping together if we find a deal and try and because sometimes you find a deal and it's like, hey, we need to get up there. It's gonna get it's gonna be gone. And we we you found know, a case deal that that blew my mind. It's it's one of those things where when you buy a lot of knives, knives, as you know, if you're watching this, knives aren't cheap. I mean, you know, it varies, certainly. You know, certain knives cost a lot more. Certain knives cost a lot less. But there's always certain knives that never get discounted. It yeah. seems like never. Yeah. And so when you find a deal on them, it's like we know we're going to buy them at some point anyway. So we might as well save a little bit, save a little bit of money. So yeah. So this is <clears throat> this is that case. Yeah, it's a, it's hot. This is that case, literally. This is a case of they had a 20%. The fact that you even got a discount on a knife like this is unheard of. Yeah. It's absurd. So we went to we went to an Ace Hardware in an undisclosed location. North, Ace Hardware. North of Nashville. And we were on the way to a water park. And I was like, that is a fire Ace Hardware store. Let's be clear. It wasn't just like you're at, like, they had multiple case knife cases. And... Out front, they had a tractor trailer with the side of it emblazoned in case knives here. So their storage trailer, they took the time to actually vinyl wrap in case. So, um, yeah, they're nuts about case up there. And mm. Mm. Tony Bowes. Yeah. Lock back, clip point. Damascus. Damascus. Yeah, right. You either get Damascus or 154 in these knives. Um, just a beautifully executed hot. knife. It's a grail. Yes, I could not believe I got a discount on it. And um, I was I was blown away and it sort of had to happen. You don't you, you just can't walk away from that because these you don't get a discount on. Um, well, case you don't really get a discount on, but no, especially not, really. not Tony Bo's case. Yes, exactly. So there you go. So my slip joint ish. I mean, it's a lock bag, but it's a slip joint um, style knife. It fits that slot in your. It daily. was definitely. Whoop, clack. Yeah, it's hefty. Yeah, the back spring tension is strong. You guys will appreciate the B roll. What yeah. you probably are seeing right now. Yeah. That's how I edited. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. So there you go. The Tony Bowes Damascus was my most uh, carried slip joint for yeah. the month of June. Rightfully so. Glad you didn't lose it because that would be heartbreaking. <laughs> I, need to, I need to have insurance that's high stakes yes <clears throat> my slip joint is not as fancy as that um but it is excellent and that is the bench made proper clip point yes. uh with the micarta scales add this little leather beaded uh lanyard on on the end of it just a great knife gets sharp s30b um just a fun little slip joint and I like the micarta because it doesn't slide out of your pockets and so many of these slip joints if you don't have you know a leather slip like this with a little clip um, they're just easy to fall out well with the micarta it kind of holds onto your pocket and I've had uh, case knives fall out of my pocket and have to go back and find them which mm. is not fun so just recently at a certain <clears throat> fast and furious movie yeah and got all the way home realized I was missing one of my knives went back Dug around in the seat minutes before the next showing started and found it. Um, so, yeah, beware with your case knives. Uh, but, yeah, so this is mine. Benchmade proper, my Carta, made in USA, S30V, clip point. Excellent little slip joint. Uh, good little half stop. Really is. Great half stop, um, great design. About Excellent 130 execution. bucks, give yeah. or take. And it comes in a sheep's foot as well. Yeah, these, these typically run around <clears throat> <little on, clears throat> under 600. <clears throat> so... Anyway, moving on to uh, EDC. So, uh, for those of you that follow, I'll just keep plugging it. But one knife project is a little Medford project that I do, and on Instagram, yeah, on Instagram, 
And um, so this guy, I totally whacked my watch. Hope I didn't break it. So this guy is is the EDC. Why can't I flick it today? It's it's silky smooth because I wear it out. But this knife is the EDC, um, and you're going to see this time and time again because for a year I carried every yeah. single day. That's the idea behind his One Knife Project Instagram page, um, which if you follow the clip point on Instagram, then you will see some interaction with One Knife Project, which yes. is his channel. He carries one knife for an entire year. Yes, and and so it's the focus of that of that Instagram channel, and really the, the idea is um, to sort of it's cool to see how it wears. Drive into that community because I was so impressed with um, the coolness that Medford had with their tumbling, their titanium, the American um, way, and um, his their Instagram is all for the consumer mm -hmm. it is not polished one bit it it's is all reposts literally basically. mostly reposts yeah, and a few a, little yeah. videos from greg you, you get a guy that you can interact with love him or hate him that is who he is and i just appreciate um bringing some awareness to the brand so this knife is s35 vn titanium tumbled it wears it functions amazingly it is a grail i enjoy it i enjoy it a lot this is the slim midi marauder um and um it's 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 a phenomenal knife it does everything well it does everything well which hold them to it because every time we do this uh most carried in the month of that should always be it here. will always be there. <laughs> um my I may EDC, do some honorable mentions along the way though so. that's fair my edc uh for the month of june was the microtech ludt um and murdered out stealth LUDT. yeah and uh awesome leaf i guess it would be like a leaf shaped blade it is about as perfect of an edc as you can get uh m390 razor sharp automatic which i don't necessarily prefer for edc but you know how it is when you get a new knife i got this knife was it technically june when we went down to e knives yeah so yeah it was. so that tells you i bought it there the beginning and, of uh, june yeah and they just do such a great job with this knife. I love how they finish the spine of the blade, how it's kind of rounded. It's got that classic, like, 80s, 90s Spec Ops feel. Um, I think I posted a picture of it and harkened back to, like, the Terminator and Alien. Like, it just seems like it's got that, you know, nostalgia that one of those commandos in that movie would pull it something does. like this out. Actually, that's a, that's a good point. The... Um yeah, and I understand what you mean about not necessarily want to carry an automatic for EDC because EDC is your mixed company knife too, and your right. selection way of deployment is nice with a flipper. Like I can whack, you know, just right. jump it right out, or I could open it as if it were a slip joint, right. and no one, no one would be the wiser and make it as unintimidating. Right. You could as open I it want. quietly, and I guess you could an automatic as well. But who wants to just quietly open an automatic? You want to crack that thing open. Um, granted, in my line of work, it's a lot easier for me to pull a knife like this out and open it in EDC because I'm not often a mixed company. Yeah. Um, so it helps with that. But okay. uh, that was probably my most carried, you know, EDC knife. Obviously, if you watch the first one of these, which I'll link it above, um, we rotate other knives. But when we decide to do this video, we we try to pull out the knife that we carried the most, the most common, right? Right. Like because we have so many that we can run options. And so during this time, we're like, okay, we'll carry this on occasion, but we're I'll either double up and carry like two EDC, do one that's primary offhand, mm -hmm. and then do the other one that day, or maybe I'll just do like one day a week, I'll carry something a little different. Um, but we focused in on these in particular. This is my vest pocket knife for those who watch other videos. Um, you know, how I'll, I'll wear a vest and stuff like that, and it goes right there. Um, that takes us right into our tactical, and this channel is all about carrying three knives. Yeah. I mean, we've been talking about it in a lot of videos. We carry three knives for a reason. We want a slip joint, and quite frankly, he just used that slip joint right there last night to cut his chicken at my father-in-law's house. And so, I did. Um, yeah, and uh, or sausage, rather. We yeah, had, we had, well, we it was had, chicken sausage. We had chicken sausage, so <laughs> still chicken. Um, but, um, yeah, this is the most underrated from a tactical performance, nasty, somewhat attainable, because a halo is unattainable, and a halo mm -hmm. is a single-action knife. And quite frankly, a halo requires a sheath. 
to cover up the button because you do not want a single action knife firing. I don't care how much you push it, it's not going off. You don't want a single action knife firing in the pocket. You're going to the hospital if you do. Um, and this was it. So this is the Heretic Hydra. I upgraded the little pocket clip here. Yeah, it's nice that they, add, they, they made those pocket clips where you could buy them and yes. add them. And the factor... It's like a shotgun. It's got that shotgun factor. Right. Chuck clunk, right? It's like racking it. And the single action is really, really cool. Um, definitely tactical worthy. Big, heavy, thick Tonto blade. Um, you could EDC it if you wanted to. It's a little aggressive for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the nice thing is, if you I were to drop it, most people can't even fire it. So yeah, it's a good point. It was, actually, I couldn't figure it out to begin with. I just didn't understand the sliding door. And uh, but once I did, same for him. He was yeah. like, uh, "What?" So we, I had three different guys who were into knives, and they couldn't figure it out. Um, but Heretic Hydra is definitely a Grail knife, but it is a singular purpose tactical knife for the most part. But it's not uh, unobtainable, I don't think. I think it's a uh, you know it's a high price, four hundred bucks ish, ish I, a little over. But the cool factor, you feel like you got your value with the four hundred bucks because of it's this type big, of yeah. it's. It fires hard, right? Hard, and it's a really cool blade. I mean, it photographs really well. Yeah, um, it, it is. There's a lot of moving parts on that knife, and that makes it feel like you got your money's worth. Yeah, and it's thick, it's big, and so you feel like you got a lot of material there for the money, and you get the feel of a halo without buying a halo. And a halo, if you're familiar with Microtech, is sort of the creme de la creme of um, single right. action OTF. This is the. It's a unicorn. This is everyday man. If there was such a thing, right. single action. So I highly recommend this knife. You you want to add this to your collection. I would. Yeah, except for me, he won't let me add it to my collection. Which you might be like, well, dude, just buy it at your collection. But we try not to buy the same knives. Yeah. Because. You can carry it anytime you want. That, uh, you know, it adds to our plethora of knives to talk to you guys about. Yes, it does. My tactical for the month of June was my handy dandy, trusty Emerson Sax. Um, a. Pure tactical knife. I have upgraded this one to uh, these black and silver micarta scales that was made by our friend Shutter Doug. Uh, fantastic scale maker. Um, if you own an Emerson, definitely check him out on Instagram. Send him a message. Um, he's made multiple scales for us. Um, does a great, great job. Um, so added those. Added this really cool uh, bead here from ZNC Metalworks which just adds to the wave system because it's so deep. You just wrap that pinky and pull, grabs the pocket uh, with the wave system and opens up. Very serious blade. Um, obviously, we've talked about Emerson before on the channel. You know all about him. If you don't, you need to do your homework. So you can go from uh, with ZNC, give him a little shout out. You can go from mild to wild. This is just a little jade to match the jade, yeah. G, the J10 on J10. my Artisan. Um, and I've got a micarta, one of these, just to give it a little bit of flair on um, a micarta knife of mine and uh, he does mild to wild and that blew me away this massive mm -hmm. pinky choil that you are not going to miss a, a draw on that and this knife is all about the draw yeah because with an emerson it's pure tactical it draws on opening it's the fastest most tactical knife you can get it is a pure pure design yeah it always blows me away like obviously you can edc an emerson sure. no question yeah. But it's always like strange when you see an Emerson being EDC to me. It almost seems foreign. I'm like, you know, that's a knife that's make, made for other. That's other a good point. Things. But they do make EDC shaped blades. They do, sure. Like the A100 um, is definitely EDC. But it's just always it's a me thing. Yeah. But yeah, so that's my tactical. There you go. Um, big nasty. Warning. Most importantly, what did you carry most in the month of June? And why? Yes. We would love to interact with you guys. Um, let us know what you carried. Um, in the month of June, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll send a couple of stickers to the top comment. How about that? We'll we'll do a little bit of uh, interaction there. So, yeah, interact with us. Let us know what it is that uh, that you carried. We'd like to hear from you most of all. So yeah, um, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Yep, and we'll see you on the next one. Yep, stay sharp. Stay sharp.